stop getting arrested. Let's try to get arrested a little bit less. Let's invest instead in building alternatives, an alternative power base, the counter economy, uh, you know, with the strategies of dual power and direct action. Stop going to jail. Just stop it. Don't go to jail anymore. You don't have to. Um, you know, there are some cases where people are doing things that they get no warning. Uh, they're doing things that are completely legitimate. Um, like, for example, Adam Kokesh in May speaking at a smokedown uh, rally in Philadelphia. He was just speaking. And they grabbed him. There, there was no way he could have... Uh, um, I don't know if there's no way. But but that, that's not a good case for of what I'm talking about. But there are other cases where people um, take a stand and they... they they, the police give them many, many attempts to um, many, many opportunities to leave and avoid arrest. And um, I think sometimes our egos get in the way of that. We feel like, oh, they're telling me to go, so I have to do the opposite of what they're saying. Um, you know, I, I, I came into this space, I took this stand, and um, if I leave, it's like, it's like you know, I'm leaving with my tail between my legs. Well, that's not it. Uh, let, you know, think of our our project here, our Liberty Project, as um, as a guerrilla war of sorts, a nonviolent one. Let's hope. Um, you know, you don't go up to the front lines and face off against their regulars. Uh, just standing there, just saying, "Hey, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. You're gonna have to move me because they're gonna shoot you." I mean, in a real war, you melt into the surroundings. You go into the mountains. You come out when it's least uh, dangerous. You strike and then you leave. And then you come back later when they least expect it and you strike again and you leave again. This is how um, guerrilla warfare works and it can be quite successful. And we need to learn from this uh, setting aside the the armed part, but you know we need to take areas, we need to to occupy them, and then when there's resistance, we need to let them go, because it's it's very expensive and very painful and very disruptive to your life for you to be arrested. Now um, I've been arrested. I, I've I've done this. I mean I've stood my ground and uh, and I've been arrested. Um, so I'm not saying it's it's wrong or anything like that. I admire people who stand up for, for their principles like that. I'm just saying on a tactical basis, you know, let's try to get arrested a little bit less. And let's instead focus all the money that goes to the lawyers and the court costs, all the lost wages, all the stress, all the pain and suffering. Let's redirect that into building alternatives that, uh, you know, when we get arrested, we, we can't avoid, afo uh, avoid it, that uh, these alternatives are going to be able to, to support us when it actually happens, defend us, um, you know, um, uh, give us some money, you know, uh, so that we can uh, withstand the effects of it without, you know, getting going homeless or losing jobs or, or whatever that is, whatever may happen. Mutual aid is basically what I'm talking about. Um, and, and we have really effective organs of publicity that uh, can, can really get the most mileage out of your case. Because when, when we get arrested and it, it has the slightest tinge of looking like we wanted to get arrested or it, we were staging it or we forced the police's hands, that actually works against us in the court of public opinion. We lose sympathy that way. So, um, so that, that's, that's what I wanted to say today. Um, stop getting arrested. Let's try to get arrested a little bit less. Let's invest instead in building alternatives, an alternative power base, the counter economy, uh, you know, with the strategies of dual power and direct action, so that when we are arrested in unavoidable ways, that we are better able to defend ourselves, to support each other, and, um, and to get mileage out of it for our cause. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.